The Irish Heritage Center in Portland gets very loud <laughs> on a Monday evening. The sound of bagpipes echo along the sidewalks with players practicing for a world championship competition. Rob Nesbitt spoke with band members about what they're doing to prepare and joins us now with more. Rob. Rob and Peggy, I've been to several events and parades where bagpipes are being played, but this was my first time seeing an instrument <laughs> up close, gaining a newfound respect for the lung power it takes to keep the music flowing. Heart. Stepping in unison and playing in harmony. These 25 bagpipes players are at the top of their game, performing with the Clattamore Pipe Band at the main Irish Heritage Center. Loud and effective, stopping traffic and causing those passing by to raise their camera phones. Enjoying the instrument that Tom Ryan started playing when he was seven years old, he often has to explain how the pipes work to those who have never played. A lot of people say, I've never seen one up close before and they're kind of fascinated about the, the bag itself and how that's a, a, it's got like a reservoir of air. So when we take a breath, the music doesn't stop. You know, we, we use that bag to kind of keep the music going. You'll notice no sheet music during rehearsals. All of the players memorize the notes they play during a performance. This is our R.G. Hardy bagpipe from 1953. Tom Duffus has been blowing air into these bagpipes made from African blackwood, silver, and ivory for 36 years. And they each play uh, what's the same as an A on the ch chanter. A hobby that started when he was a teenager. I picked up the, the pipes uh, because I wanted to blend my interest in music with my interest in my heritage that my parents had instilled. And having been exposed to the sound of the bagpipe at an early age, uh, I really wanted it. And uh, I was willing to work for it, which you have to work every single day to keep up with the instrument. Members of Clatamore start inside on their practice chanters to warm up their lungs. Weekly rehearsals are important since the group found out that they would get the opportunity to compete in this year's World Pipe Band Championships. A competition that will take them to Glasgow, Scotland. It is about playing at the top of your game uh, and continual improvement, and that's what I really love about it. Yeah, maybe likely so. A big part of playing bagpipes is tuning bagpipes. And put it on your D, just cover up that D, just like that much like I just did on the E, okay? Once Tom has helped the players with that, they are ready to let the air flow in preparation for their biggest event of the year. Four, four, and three, and I'll, I'll figure it out, yeah. 2,900 miles from home. I'm looking forward to getting out there and playing in Glasgow. You know, it's a lot of fun. A couple of us have been there before, um, but never as our own group, and uh, it's, it's just been a lot of uh, a lot of anticipation, and I'm really looking forward to getting there and playing with these people. They're, they're really hardworking folks. Hardworking, entertaining, and committed all qualities that are worthy of a world championship. The pipe band will be traveling to Scotland to compete the middle of August and stay tuned for an update here on 207. We've invited the band to come play in our studio when they get back and let us know how the competition goes, Rob and Peggy. Hopefully a win in their future. I love that sound. It's yeah. so beautiful and you don't hear it that often so it really catches your attention. When you get a pipe band in an enclosed space in a studio like this, for instance, it's remarkable how loud it is. You did it outside, so the, the sound obviously travels. But when they're in a fairly contained space, like a pub, man, it's loud. But it's a blast.